What's up, Jaywalkers? We're back at it with another reaction, and this time we're going to be watching Season 4, Episode 20 of Glee. Last episode, man, it was such a, a strong one, and a, a personal, all-around favorite episode of mine. Um, it was a good episode for many characters, and one of those characters was Finn, and I... Honestly, I, I had no idea, but someone on Patreon told me that the last episode was um, Corey Monteith's last episode of Glee, and um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. Obviously, I knew it would be coming up, but I wasn't sure which episode it was. <sighs> man, <clears throat> it's man, it's so sad, but it was such a a strong episode for Finn. He got to to finally make up with Will. His last performance being Don't Stop Believing. Which hits it's way too hard, man. Um, but yeah, and uh, I, I don't even know, man. It just sucks. And I also know that there's a a tribute episode coming up for him. I'm not sure which episode it is, if it's this one, if it's um, the finale or next season or when it'll be, um, but I'll I'll be watching that as well. Someone told me like some reactors skip it and I might want to skip it with, um, with I guess how, how emotional, I don't know, with how emotional it is. I'm not sure why I would want to skip it, but I'll be watching it. I, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, I don't know what to say, I'm just, I'm heartbroken after finding out that that's his last episode, and now that I'll have to watch the show without him, dang it. Uh, but last episode, it, once again, was a personal favorite of mine, loved everything we got from Marley, her original songs were great, and uh, I'm glad she got to shine with those songs. <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess we'll we'll jump into the episode. Full reactions will be over on my Patreon page. Link to that will be in the description box of every video over on YouTube. If you want to check them out, feel free to hit the link and do so. That being said, we're jumping into it. Let's go. She's living in New York with Kurt and Rachel, but she doesn't have a bedroom and she doesn't go to Niatas, so what exactly is she doing anyway? And that's what you missed. On Glee. No fan in the intro. Twice now. Why are you afraid to meet me? Short and sweet. Had no clue. Who are you texting? Who's your phone? Who are you texting? Um, I need to get a problem. Her name is Frida Romero. She don't sound like a problem. She sounds like a tiny solution. little sophomore. Her voice is all my an arena. Her and the only way to beat them is to beat songs that will blow the heads off of a hundred thousand people at a time. Zombie apocalypse. Or Beyonce's halftime show. Classes will continue, and your brains are to remain in the on position. Distributed based on grade point average. I now have to turn off the PA system. Ridiculous. So coffee machine and my plug-in lower back vibrator. What? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's unplugged week. Yeah. You know this person is a sheep, or even a human. Stop, right? All I know is I've had this really amazing connection. You don't even know her. You don't understand, Jake. I've never felt so close to someone. I want to know her, mom, but I can't. The biggest secret was dyslexia. Well, what is it? Maybe you should think about starting to share your deep, dark secrets with people you actually know. Found this out by the dumpster with a little TLC and three clicks from Kurt's it's ruby nice slippers. This bad boy. A cheap what edition. I think you're throwing your life away. It's bad enough you let this horny tourist grope you for tips that awful coyote ugly Ugh. bar. But Tina just informed me that you are now a bouncer at a lesbian beer garden. And you're Some of us actually need to work for a living. That's not the point. Okay, you're so talented, Santana. You're like the most talented person I know. Obviously, with the exception of me and Kurt. Most talented Your person. voice, it's electric. We all wrong with taking a little time to figure things out? Nothing. But why not doing something in the meantime? Like, like dance lessons. And Yacht has a great extension program. Thank you, guys. Toughen it out. And we have our first volunteer who is going to going show on. us how to get back to basics and really Screw strip all it down. Sam! Woo! 
Right, uh, take it away. He's the perfect one to kick us off. My mom said that I was conceived to this song, so I kind of <laughs> literally owe my existence to the right suppose. Anyways, uh, here it goes. Better do it justice. No tenderness like before in your fingertips. But baby, baby, I know you lost that love and feeling. Oh, it's gone, gone, Thank you. gone, gone. Ooh, I love, I love, I love you don't find every day, baby, baby. That's the kind of power and Beautiful. passion that we need for regionals. Um, next up, uh, Artie, show us what you got. I can't do Miguel without my sins. I need my sins. No, you need to man up. Often the power went off in my house. How many times my dad couldn't afford to pay the stupid God, bill? Relax, dude. What? I had to oh, entertain my brother and sister with just my guitar Why? and my voice. First of all, how is your dad? Oh, uh, thank you for asking. Uh, he, he's doing good. Um, he's back at work and all his treatments seem to have been coming in as much, we've noticed. But quality trumps quantity always. Yeah. I need your help. You know I'm co-chairing the gala for New York City Ballet's educational program. I need somebody. I need somebody good who can dive in ASAP. If anyone else does this, I, I will literally die. If you want to draft a couple of friends to help you out, that's good too. Yeah? Santana. Teen Town Trauma Parade that is McKinley High. Good for you. Could not be better. I'm making it. my own special up and getting paid twice the money to do what I do best. Dishing out Not top tier abuse to trophy. Child with pelvic pops. Take it. Like a pelvic Looks like it hits all the right spots. That's kind of pain. Oh my god. Go home to mommy. Good shit, Blaine. 290X, trademark pending. I will allow you to speak. Just don't sing. I'll admit. God, I can see that all the cheerio girls are lost without you, and frankly, as student council president, I'm a little worried about the kind of advice Coach Roz is giving. The kids are still shaking up. No one feels safe. Set the record straight. We need you, Coach Sue. We need you now. And the sound it made was almost musical, and it got me thinking. We don't have to have electricity to make music. We don't even need our instruments. We're working together. If we pushed ourselves to pull up a song with nothing but a water bottle and pencils, and you went unplugged, this would be unplugged squared. I like it. Oh my gosh, they love it! Ballet Gala, duh. And guess who gets to attend? They just volunteer a few short hours. Anne Hathaway. It's us! Are you serious? <laughs> just when you thought it couldn't get any gayer. Celebration of a timeless art. If you're if going. Ballet, I wouldn't be here. It was my gateway into show business. The studio was just a tiny, moldy Lima storefront to me. It was the most beautiful place on earth. And even when I saw some of the kids and their parents laughing at me, something inside my little brain said, screw them, just go for it, Hummel. Not me, count me out. You mean, you don't want to wear a designer dress from the legendary Vogue.com vault that you get to keep as a gift? I'm in. It's like, I'm all the way now. I asked Mr. Shu permission to do a full orchestration, which I gladly agreed to because Ryder eloquently told me that when he threw the song, okay, this shit looks like it's about to be haunting. Kind of need this and for all the slushies. Fascinating. Real and See what you got. Night is yours alone. I kind of want to light a candle for this. All my lights sure off, light a candle, say a prayer, hope for the best, just listen. Let yourself go. Do it. Everybody cries. We all do. Everybody hurts. Every now and then. Sometimes I'm alone when your day is not. Hear that, Sam? We helped you out last time. Where you at? Like letting go. Oh, everybody heard. It's not thinking about how wonderful this is. I mean, it's good now, but then it would have been a good one for him. So hold on. I like that. The candles, the darkness. Amazing the... writer. You certainly the inspiration and you're looking like that. Yeah, I just I've actually only told one person this. Not even my parents. I'm not sure if I can trust that person to keep it secret. When I was 11, I was molested by my babysitter. 
she just walked in on me in the shower and she touched me. Dude, you're lying in some hot 18 year old place with your junk. I'd kill for that. Why are you ashamed? Me up a bit. Like I have trouble trusting girls because of it. I think. Guys, this is not something to high five about. Writer, I'm sorry, but I'm obligated to report it. And a crime. I mean, it's every teenage boy's fantasy. I mean, there's like Sam. 50 80s movies about it. I mean, my tutor, a private. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I'm like the luckiest guy in here. So. Oh my God, that's devastating. Oh my yeah, I was sort of surprised when he asked me to dinner. From a distance, Puck is super hot, but you don't really realize. From freaking go. California. To... I don't know why I have oh, such. It may have seemed like no one else in that room understood what you went through, but I did. It was um, my friend Julie's older brother. He came down into the basement and crawled into my sleeping bag. At first I thought it was a joke, I didn't. In the morning I went straight home without saying goodbye and I couldn't tell my parents for a while. Didn't understand why I waited so long to say something about it. Hear her say was how good of a kid he was and how she didn't know how something like that could happen. Finally I just decided it'd just be easier to switch schools. So I did what it feels like to have something like that happen to you and feel like nobody understood. I guess I just wanted you to know that I do. I'm glad they have each other, like, for like, this. Thanks. So tremendously, they had to go through that. But, I'm just glad they have each other. That was a hell of a scene. I make a big noise playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. This is the kind of freaking creative shit I like. In the world someday, got blood on your face, your big disgrace, waving your banner all over the place. Buddy, you're an old man, poor man, pleading with your eyes. Let me live, writer. God, are you ready to go? You see your place. Oh, shit. Damn, Jay. I didn't want that to end. That was perfection. Favorite. That's so sure. Welcome back, Hi, Sue. Hi, Coach. Can I watch coach. it with you? Stan, how Coach Frost tweets me. Maybe the fact that you grew from an intimate fetus into a full crazy peanut butter stem cell sauce you cooked up on your island of Dr. Moreau. You know, I have always admired her run on A little much. 95 years I gave those girls. <laughs> what did it get me? Certainly not their respect. Thought you gave them one. I'll be knocked up sluts. <laughs> and me. A little much. Oh. And you. That makes everything. Becky, I'm sorry, honey. Little girls, little girls, everywhere I turn. Little girls. Take your spot back soon. Ordinary woman with feeling. How come I'm the mother of the year? Diamonds. Some women are All students get out the way. She's swinging. Someday I'll land in the nut house. And the swirl. Performing so good. It killed us. You couldn't pay me to go back to that. <laughs> and I don't miss them at all. What else? Mrs. Isabel. I'm just sorry. I know they weren't just volunteers here, but Kurt and I were wondering if there's Seems. any possibility that we could maybe watch the performance from the audience. It's soup! Santana, you want to join us? Oh, Santana doesn't like the ballet. She's only here for the gown and the swag bag. Oh, I don't believe that. Every little girl, no matter where she ends up. Did you speak for me now, Kurt? Not Santana. We've discussed it. Kurt, can I just show you something? Um, very big ballet classes. My abuela put me in them when I was little because I was such a tomboy and it really pissed my dad off. Helped me uh, escape a little, you know, it was the first time I danced. That's good. I felt safe there and Daddy always thought that he married beneath him. That's what he said, that's what he said. She was 22, though she was 22, though she was 22. Life with my dad wasn't ever a picnic, more like a come as you are. That they weren't hers, but it wasn't something you want to discuss. He wasn't warm. Everything was beautiful at the ballet. Fall at the ballet. 
happy. Oh, oh cool. Row stairway to the voice like a metronome. It was in paradise. It was in paradise. It was in paradise. Mother always said I'd be very attractive when I grew up. When I grew up. And though I was eight or nine, though I was eight or nine, though I was eight or dear, if not to her. Well then to me. Mm. Mm. It's beautiful at the ballet. Beautiful at the ballet. I was pretty. I got a lot of struggles going on. I'm to save their marriage. I'm throwing two up out of sign up for ballet right now. When my mother up at the hospital, he said, Well, I thought this was gonna help, but I guess not. Later he left. And he never came back. Indian chief. And he would say to me, Izzy, do you want to dance? Clear when he proposed that I was born to help their matter. It was an Indian chief and he'd say, Izzy, do you want to dance? I would love to. Everything was beautiful at the ballet. My God, what a song, what a vocal performance, especially by Rachel, by everybody, by Rachel Santana of this dark-ass room. The lyrics are something else. This is fantastic. Sorry. Listen, I really love dancing. <laughs> Sue's adult baby is being a bust. First she started making fart noises every time I bent over. Then she started making fart noises every time I blinked. That's fun. He's got to laugh. Fart. This was thinking, I need to tell you something. And restore. Congratulations to all of us for refusing to resort to idol worship and rampant cannibalism. We have discovered. Thank God I didn't go that far. Okay, let's flip some switches and rock out, please. Whoa, 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 hold on, guys. Don't plug back in just yet. Singing a cappella. I hate whistling. Nothing but our voices for this next number. No other instruments or bottles or tools or anything. Everybody, day, bring was, your best. You, you would be in there, and I was hoping that I could spot some kind of tell on your face right before I told everyone. Something to let me know that you knew what I was going I had my eye on everyone, and you didn't give me any signals this time. Whoever you are, you've opened me up somehow. Look at what I did in Glee this week, telling everyone that story, that this thing we are doing, whatever it is, it's working for me. Okay. Frank and team. I just started the subway diet and it's time for my second $5 foot loan. Wanna buy it for me? I can't kind of have a date. With who? Katie. The catfish? How can you pick an online fantasy over an actual fantasy? I don't warm to people easily and I was really starting to like you. Maybe after I find out who Katie is and you straighten all this out, we can go up. I don't think so. <sighs> You're late. I'd like to make an entrance. And so don't we're start really till Santa's here. Yeah. None of you came here expecting that it would help you get into Niata as a student. Pay thirty grand a year to get a degree for doing something that I'm already freaking Wonder Woman at. <laughs> then what are you doing here? Hell yeah! I love to dance. I've lost touch with that part of myself lately, and so I'm here to do some reintroducing. Mm. Don't forget me again. Why was that so painful? Never again. Got you now. Whoa, if you said goodbye to me tonight, what else could I do? I'm so inspired by you. Oh, I'm that voice you're hearing in the hall. Great. Yeah, that voice right here in my head 24 7, Sam. Right. 
Alright. Uh, Alright. There we have it. Season 4, episode 20 of Glee. And it it was it was an okay episode. We had the lights go out. We were in the darkness. We pulled out the acoustic guitars. We pulled out anything our our hearts could imagine and yeah we played some some unplugged stuff we had a a pretty good time with it all I, I enjoyed the performances the I think the the we will rock you was my favorite of this one followed very closely by the the ballerina song with with everybody there that was that was a, a hell of a song with some pretty some pretty crazy lyrics but Santana rediscovering herself which was beautiful love the moment she had at the end where she, you know she saw her younger self and said we we will never forget you again and i just i love that i love that Santana you know is rediscovering you know that side of herself that that she loves and yeah all that stuff was was really good um, we had a writer open up about how terrible things he had to go through as as a kid, and it sucked. Like all the the boys in there were congratulating him and not taking it seriously when it is a serious thing. No matter who you are, no matter if you're a boy, girl, it's it's freaking awful. It's traumatic. It's terrible and uh, yeah we didn't like that moment but I I enjoyed it that the fact that Ryder and Kitty were able to have a you know a special really good moment um, and Kitty it just sucks that she could relate and uh, you know she went through something similar and all that but that was a very good moment between them two and then of course Ryder still dealing with the the catfish thing which I'm so I'm so over this, this freaking catfish uh, but turning down you know going going out with Kitty in that moment to continue talking to this person it's like I don't I don't care that you lied to me I don't care that I still don't know exactly who you are um I I know this is helping me open up and I still really enjoy talking to you so I mean I guess that that's good for Ryder, but the whole catfish thing needs to end. Darn it! Um, we got Sue missing her freaking squad more than ever, and ready for her to have that back. Uh, but yeah, pretty. It was a pretty okay episode. It was um, MVP. I do miss fan so much uh, but MVP we'll give to Ryder Ryder or Santana I'll give it to Santana she was incredible in that performance her dress was out of this world and just that whole moment Santana had there, you know, her joining the freaking the dance class, rediscovering that side of herself, the moment with her younger self in that moment um, was all very good. And of course, you know, contributing to the beautiful looks of their home, bringing in that amazing chair. Uh, so uh, Santana's going to be our MVP for this one, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. Thank you all for watching.